Hello babes, so welcome back to a brand new vlog. I figured I would show you guys how I make my coffee recently. I made an iced um, espresso at home and it was fire. My coffee routine has really changed up because I stopped using the espresso. I was using the instant espresso. The machine I use, you guys, if you're curious, I do get a lot of questions on it, is the DeLonghi Dedica Deluxe. It's amazing. I have it linked on my Amazon pages and they're also down below. I have this little container also from Amazon. Keeps your coffee fresh. It also comes with this beautiful scoop. The espresso that I have inside of here, the Starbucks original espresso. Like the notes is very caramelly. I do get them to grind it for me and I asked them this time for setting number one and it's been perfect. So yeah, you can get them to grind it on number one and they'll give it to you all grind it up. I have some sugar but it's mixed with uh, coconut palm sugar and then also sugar cane. 2% organic milk over here. Then I have my Starbucks cup over here that I got. If you guys came across this cup and you got it, girl, you got a really cute cup. They come up with like these crazy colorful cups and I'm just always like, ew, where's the minimal ones? But I've just been enjoying this one. Also matches when I'm in my car, so I love it. So let's get started with our coffee. So we have our guy nice and full over here. So this is what the level does. Because it has these edges over here, kind of put your shoulder into it a little bit and tamper down. And then boom, you have a perfect coffee. And then we have single espresso or double. I like to put it on double. Funny backstory, I was filming for you guys one time and I was like trying to make it so good. And I'm like, yeah, and then you click the button and I didn't have a cup. The coffee went all over here. One big spoon of my sugar. And then I'm gonna grab like half. like a decent amount of ice mm. Mm. I love that this is simple it's natural if I could find an organic coffee that has the same notes very 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 similar or something I would love I would get that one instead honestly because yeah a lot of you guys ask me how I make my coffee and if it's changed and stuff so I really want to show you guys because I really really like it this way do you love it baby Oh, yeah, I love you so much. Can you clean your eyes? Can I clean your eyes? Oh, don't be a diva. Can I clean your eyes? It's so. This is not playtime. This is not playtime. Pendeja, calmate. What, what's wrong? Are you going through like a like a you know two and a half year old crisis? Good. Yeah. This is as much as I can handle, honestly. I'm trying to grow out my own natural nails, and honestly, I'm very impressed with myself. I'm really trying to get them past my fingertips. I know that sounds so sad, but if you're a nail biter, I know you know. I know you know what I'm freaking talking about, and it just it just not doesn't seem to make it there. And honestly, I enjoy doing my own manicure because I know how I like my nails and everything. You save so much money by doing your nails at home. Let me tell you that. Like, so, so, so much money. All my nail stuff is linked on my Amazon pages, my Amazon favorites pages. I updated all those pages. So, yeah, you guys can go in there and shop. I also have videos on my channel about my nails. Maybe I'll do an updated natural nail manicure at home. Like, natural nails. So I actually got a request on Instagram to do my updated makeup routine and I feel like I haven't shown you guys what I've been doing lately. I'm doing a makeup look that's like super sheer, very natural. I also am wearing a brand new satin set that I got from Amazon. This one's more in a white color. It's so freaking nice you guys. I have it linked on my Amazon pages. Go shop it. I love that you can also use this top for outfits, but I've been using this guy. This is not sponsored. They did send me a few things and I fell in love with this. This one scanned um, completely clean for me. It's the cleansing milk, well, actually no, intense hydrating treatment, um, pure argan milk. This is by, I don't know how to pronounce it, Josie Moran. Make sure to clean your hands before you put anything on your skin. I always say that if you take care of your skin, you do not need much makeup, especially if you have my type of aesthetic. 
I've also been using jojoba oil, which fun fact, jojoba oil is actually a wax and it's not an oil. And people have oils very, very much misunderstood. I've been using that on my face and it gives you an amazing glow. Look at this beautiful glow that this gives you. Plumpy glow, I'm telling you. And my face tan just does everything for me. I told you guys I love the salty face tan. I have a code with them if you guys want to save money. Honestly, like a lot of times I look in the mirror and I'm like, wait, am I wearing makeup or not? Like it just... Mm. Just tans the face, it bronzes it, it gives you the perfect base so that you can just kind of like dabble here and there with makeup. Plus, I love this mirror over here. It is just amazing. It's also from Amazon. I'm going to use the Merit one today, but I also do love the Ilia concealer. But I'm a sucker for sticks. I really, really am a sucker for sticks. So I'm just going to dab a little bit on my eyelids. I have very like veiny eyelids. They're super, super thin and they can come across a little bit purpley. And I'm also dabbing... A little bit underneath my eyes but I'm not doing any like, crazy concealer or nothing a line over here over here as well and then I'll do a tiny bit over here at the top I have the Ilia complexion brush I really like this for just like blending out my concealer because it is just everything oh I forgot to conceal this that I have on my chin I don't know why but lately I've been having a tiny bit of breakouts here and there it's my absolute favorite brush I always get questions about what brush I like to use and oh, this elf brush is just everything. I just washed my brushes. Another skin care tip. Why are you going to be using dirty ass brushes? <laughs> Use dirty brushes on your skin. You know what I mean? You've cleaned your skin. You've taken care of it. You're using the right products. But then you're going to go put some dirty brushes on your skin. So Super Serum Skin Tint. Their skin tint is everything. It's uh, ST10. <coughs> elf brush that I'm using is the ultimate blending it is so fluffy but at the same time like kind of dense it's really nice and chunky to the point where someone like me that's trying to do a fast look you're just like buh, 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 buh. you just buff super quickly it's like i do not put a lot of foundation on i just want to make the area kind of like even so if this area is a little bit red or whatever i'm just kind of you know blending it out honestly i think this is a little bit more than i usually use so i'm gonna go wipe this off favorite bronzer still to use is the makeup by mario it is just so nice I'm gonna go in with the refi brush i actually like this side because it is super like loose and allows like a very light application so this is actually very pigmented so i kind of like to split it and kind of like go from there and i've been doing mine a little bit more on the outer side and then i kind of bring it in a little bit and i also like to bring it up here on the side just to kind of make everything very much unified so again outer edge and also I start to get a very natural contour over here so you kind of want to like follow that and also bring some down on the forehead along the top again very very light and really highlights the center area to be like the focal point now you can use the rest of what's on here and kind of bring it into more of the cheek area I honestly don't use blush like 98% of the time and I love that this kind of has like a rosy brown type of color and also adding it to your nose it just brings it all in together i feel like and try to focus like more in the middle not like all the way up like unifies this entire area we're also gonna grab a tiny bit even what's left and just kind of bring it along the bottom back with the ilia brush dab into our bronzer and unifying the eye with the rest of the face that has been bronzed so you're gonna add it i like the top of the lid instead of the entire lid and you're gonna bring it out again unified i'm using that word but it's because that is just the secret to the type of look i love let's so go back in with your elf brush this is just gonna kind of melt it all together but buff any of those like harsh lines if there's any you want the skin to come through you do not want like makeup coming through first you want your skin to come through you know for me the eyes are my absolute highlight because one that's the first thing that people are seeing and it's kind of the only place where you can kind of get a little bit bit crazy <laughs> we don't get crazy over here but anyways it's as crazy as you're gonna get over here <laughs> so we're gonna grab some of this this is called say god with the freaking face tanner the salty face tanner and this girl that is like your errand look it's your beachy look again you're not wearing makeup but your skin has a beautiful glow you don't need any makeup for those kind of a you know events but i'm going in with this because i'm going to be using this on the eye this is the ilia tinted what is this called Tint liquid powder matte eye tint in the color cork <sighs> you guys this color like girl oh my god it is just so freaking dreamy 
So I take a little pump of this. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is the Real Techniques deluxe crease brush so we're just gonna mix that again it just gives a little bit of a glow but also i find that with these eye tints this just gives me more a more time to kind of blend it into the eye i find that they can dry really fast just gonna bring it into the crease and you're gonna take the brush and kind of just blend it a little bit outwards it's gonna make the eyes really nice and wide and just again kind of make everything very unified like so 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 pretty you need this eye tint. I really like that this brush is like so firm and really allows me to brush because my eyebrow hairs are thick as a horse girl. Okay, like I'm not even playing around. Going in with the Ilia brow tint, but I just want to show you guys an eyebrow product that I like because most of the time I don't really use one to be honest. But this is pretty much the only one that I like to use. I will just clean up any of the little bits that I have. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Merit Lip Oil in the color Taupe. I love this color so much. That is the makeup look. It's super quick and easy, honestly. My eyelashes, I don't do anything to them. I don't put any mascara or anything, but I am gonna grab a spoolie and I am going to brush them up. You can even condition them with a little bit of castor oil. I wanna give a quick shout out to Melissa Flores because I ended up ordering some of her earrings from her brand Sunday Energy and that is the earrings that I'm wearing right now. I forgot what the name of these are called but I'll link them down below in the description. She sent me a bunch of stuff. I love you Melissa. But yeah, if you guys want to shop these earrings, I'll also show you guys the other ones that I have because they are just so gorgeous you guys and her jewelry is super high quality so make sure you guys go check her out i want to show you guys this jewelry box that i got i did do a short on it so if you guys want to watch it it will be on my shorts feed it's, it is so freaking nice these are the other earrings that i got from sunday energy it's give me like goddess vibes hello babes <laughs> oh it's been a more you know when like so many things happen in your morning and you're like you're not going to ruin my mood you're not going to ruin my mood for me, I can very well like get my mood ruined if my like outfit isn't going right. The reels were not working out because my outfits weren't working out. I finally decided on an outfit. Doesn't some of my foundation go into my thing? Not how you usually would think, but I touched my foundation and there was some around the rim and then I guess I went like this. I looked down and I'm like, here we go. And this is the outfit. This is what I'm going to be wearing. I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing that satin button blouse from Amazon, from my Amazon haul. I love this blouse so much. And you know what I think is happening too is because my style is changing, what's going to happen to you is like you're going to put on new outfits and you're going to think that they don't go together. That happens to me every time I have a style shift because you're like, ah, no, that doesn't go with that. It's just you're trying to like get used to it. You know what I mean? I had this top from Winners for like literally like three freaking years. Then we have my jeans from Ardeen that I absolutely love. These are nice and stretchy. I don't think they have them anymore. But, and then I have my two bracelets I made myself. These are so freaking pretty, you guys. One's like more creamy and like beiges. And the other one has pearl and white and gold. So freaking pretty. My crochet bag that I made myself. <laughs> I like bougie breakfast. Yours looks so good. Mm -hmm. uh, you like your eggs like that? Yeah, because I like to dip the potatoes in, but um... Okay, I'm done with this girl. I'm done with it. Tell me why she could have just taken a piece from the outer edge, but she had to do a cut out. It is Wednesday and I have my hair appointment today. I am so excited because I've been noticing my hair has obviously grown out and the last time I actually saw Alex, I'm gonna see Alex today for the first time since she's been pregnant. How crazy is that? But now she works from home and I'm so proud of her. I'm honestly, I really have been wanting this for her for a very long time. And yeah, I just love that she's working from home now, doing her own thing. Love it. Came to Erin Mills um, just to kind of kill time because I'm like honestly really early. And tell me how I exit my car and I see this guy parking like maybe two spots beside me. He's being very nice and stuff like that, but honestly today I don't give a shit who's being nice anymore. I, it's just, there's some weird shit, so I'm like, no. And then he's like, uh, can I ask you questions about your car? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm in a rush. Like, y'all, I am not participating in any stranger conversations. Like, you just don't know and honestly, it's, it's something that makes me very, very, very sad because I miss the times when you can just you know and sometimes like when i'm charging my car that's when i talk to random strangers because we're literally right there like what are you supposed to do you know what i mean 
and you meet the nicest people but it's like random people like this when I'm just trying to like run an errand or something and you're trying to stop and talk to me I don't know it's just I just don't trust it anymore honestly it, it does make me very very sad the guy seemed nice but isn't everyone gonna be nice you know what I mean but yeah, it does make me sad that we can't like kind of talk to strangers sometimes anymore, especially as a female, like especially as a, f if I was with someone, I probably would be like, yeah, like what would you like to know? I'd still keep my distance, but I'd be like, what do you want to know? You know, because people genuinely do have questions about these cars and I get it, but like it was just me and him. It's very quiet right now in the morning in the parking lot. Like there's a few, you guys can see it's like pretty sparse. So I'm just like, I don't feel comfortable. And but look at this watch that I found has a very like vintage kind of vibe to it and I love that it's small too I'm wearing my beaded bracelets and I also have my aesthetic tote which by the way I'm actually gonna bring one for Alex <laughs> we're sold out of these you guys and I've been getting such good feedback you guys are loving the pockets on the interior you guys are just loving how it works and I'm like you know what I think I'm gonna restock them so a restock is coming on these but I did bring one inside of my bag for Alex I had like two left for myself just in case of anything but I really want her to have one because I think that it would look really cute and it would kind of go into her everyday lifestyle too so me and Alex little background story we went to elementary school together and she's literally I think well yeah she's literally the only person I still know from school from that freaking young age from elementary you no know one like all else fails you're like my teeth will do it mm. huh Que paso aquí? I'm about to break this. <laughs> this is by Ray Dunn. Ray, Ray, you know your shit. Like, Ray, you could have made this a little bit easier. Ray, come on. Oh my God, you guys. So this is the hair, you guys. I am obsessed. This hair length, I freaking love it. I think it is the perfect haircut and hair length. I asked her for a really thick curtain bang. I have my hair up and I want to have it like that, you have a decent amount of a curtain bang going on, you know, instead of just a little piece. I got two more extra layers, obviously because the length, you don't want to do too many layers. The color is just absolutely gorgeous. We went with an ash toner. So basically she did like heavier at the front here, but then kind of went down towards the back, just so that it looks really, really natural. I wasn't planning to cut my hair until that Day when I was talking to you guys in the car I was like I need to top up my hair it looks really bad so yeah I feel like this is my favorite hair so far I feel like it takes a while with blonde to find what is kind of you because you see so many people and you want what they have but I promise you you're not gonna look like them you're not gonna look like them because you have a different skin complexion uh, skin tone you have a different face shape your style is different than them. I'm headed off to Amy's right now. I've packed my bag. She wants me to help her like remove her nails and stuff like that. And every time I go to Amy's, you guys, I always forget my slippers and my feet are always so freaking cold in her place. I'm a slipper. Like I'm always in slippers. I don't know about you guys. These are the color out in her brand beige. So if you guys want to shop them, I do have a coupon code. Make sure you guys use Steph. You guys will get money off. They are so freaking comfortable, you guys. The base is so nice and sturdy too, non-slip. Obviously my aesthetic, so I have color out. Again, if you guys are interested, I'll leave it down below in the description, but so comfy. I'm gonna put these in my aesthetic tote right now because I need them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am so excited for the next videos because I have so many hauls coming your way. Do not forget to subscribe, click the bell to get notified for all my brand new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.